Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 10 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York on Tuesday, the 24th day of March 2015. And this is a, the daily report for gold and silver. We do have precious metals, specifically gold and silver, trading higher this morning. Platinum and palladium trading lower this morning. Most importantly, uh, we do have the precious white and yellow metal up. First to gold, currently trading up roughly $5 on the day. 1194.60, that is our current print on the screen. 1194.08 would be the cash market. We have seen a high of 1194.90. We're currently just a tick off of that high, a low of 1185.40. Silver. Also trading higher on the day, but it had been in negative territory, slightly unchanged for the better part of the day. Currently trading just shy of 17, 1698, low 1682, high 1703. We are looking at a daily chart, this of the spot market of silver. It is in Japanese average format. We are going to convert it. And the reason for putting it in average format as our first view of the day, so to speak, is the fact that I want to take a look really at the current strength of the trend because especially when we look at silver we'll convert it in a second you'll see that we're basically unchanged on the day it looks quite different but we have the absence of the lower wicks over the last four trading days simply says that at no time during the trading day uh, did the price point of silver go below below uh, the midpoint of the prior day now, when we convert this to uh, from our daily chart back into a standard candlestick chart, what you'll see is today's trading activity, which is a much smaller bodied uh, trade, or excuse me, a much smaller bodied candle right now, and that's simply due to the fact uh, that it is, in essence, unchanged on the day. Really, it's only up a penny. Now, our stop is currently in terms of silver 1649 my recommendation is that you maintain it what we're trying to do is to keep it under at least uh, this daily low here so maintain that also when we look at our macd we did get a nice cross and we are really now moving apart and that's pretty solid too in terms of a straight indication of trend and strength of trend so as far as a gold goes and we'll talk about our stop in a second we started the show with this japanese average chart uh, this is a half a day chart so it really is attempting to give us an indication of morning session and evening session but what i am noticing here is we do have a a pretty strong trend which is developed of course we absolutely hit a bottom at around 11 uh, 43 I believe was the low we've had straight sessions over the last couple of trading days in which we have this absence of the lower tail and on today's range at least we are closing up near the high of that day so traders on our daily chart we looked at the MACD uh, that was on our silver chart you can see in our gold chart we've got pretty much the same thing we have at this point absolutely crossed and we are really seeing these particular two lines moving apart convergence divergence and we definitely want to see them diverge we want to see them move apart that gives us some indication of the strength of this particular move the second thing that we're going to do is just as we did in silver i want to convert this back into our japanese average chart and when we take a look at that no doubt about it we're off the highs here but we've got this on a daily chart now the absence of lower wicks and nice solid size candles really giving us this v so as far as our current gold trade goes and our gold stop we went through our silver stop but on our gold stop if you recall initially we entered the market 1171 that's right in this area right as this market broke out here but we placed our stop below 1160 i wanted to account for and this is of course a very short term chart 180 minute chart but these lows here as the market continued to move up we had a low that came in right in here which was roughly roughly as i said 
at about 78 79 and this dotted line represents where our current stop is placed at which is uh, just at 11.78, 11.78. So I am recommending that we maintain our current stop in silver and also maintain our current stop in gold. So lastly, as we're all aware, uh, the dollar has had a tremendous, tremendous influence on the price of gold. It always does because it's paired uh, uh, to gold, but when the dollar begins to get very active, of course, then the change is genuinely a lot greater. Now, today's change, uh, the 4 or $5 rise that we saw in the price of gold is absolutely due to trading. In fact, um, we had a slightly stronger U.S. dollar today taking away $2, $5.90 in normal trading, $3.90 currently is our net change on the market, and that's what's giving us our current price at 93.20 on gold. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. Talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.